Welcome back. Some breaking news right now. The recall election involving Seattle City Council member Shauna Sawant has flipped. The latest count shows the no side is leading by just 232 votes. And this is the first time since Tuesday the no camp has led, which would essentially save Sawant's job on the City Council. Let's get right out to King 5's Eric Kazuka live at election headquarters with a breakdown. And the number of ballots left to tabulate is dwindling pretty quickly. Yeah, you mentioned that 200 to 32, 232 vote difference there. And what that means is that election workers really have their work ahead of them trying to get a number of ballots that have signature issues verified. That's going to be a big piece of the puzzle here. I spent some time with them this morning as they continue counting ballots, and that's really a whole process. What happens is each ballot comes in. They have to check to make sure that the signature matches up with whatever a voter registered with. Then they have to take the ballot out of the envelope, put it into a counter, and then those ballots are secured and each vote can be counted. They continue doing that today because they actually got another, another 38 ballots that just arrived today. Those were postmarked in time to be counted in this election. And they say that votes could continue to come in if they're mailed from other places. Here's what the chief of staff had to say today. In Washington, as long as it's postmarked by election day, we're still able to count it. So we could have ballots coming in from Hawaii or different parts of the country, overseas even, um, that if they trickle in, if they have an on-time postmark, we'll add those to the total as well up until December 17th. So here's what they're asking of people right now. If you did vote in this election, go online and make sure through the ballot tracker that your vote was actually counted. If it says that there is an issue with your signature, they're going to want to get in touch with you so that they can actually mail you a form. You'll sign it again to confirm what your vote is in this election and they can get that counted because here's the thing. There are nearly 600 of those. As you mentioned, this race, only 232 votes apart. Eric Zuko, King 5 News. Okay.